and it's been primarily Sturton. That's what got me where I am today. A very successful business. I have way more clients than I have days to fish. And that's 60% my annual income. I figured it out the other day. I've been on the phone for two weeks with clients. Last year, the season was 54 days long. And I had 50 trips. Almost every one of those trips was a full boat. I didn't limit four of those days. You do the math, it's a lot of fish. Best day I had, we caught 58. And the worst day I had, we had, I think I caught 19 or 20. Only didn't live in four days. The fishery, I understand, has some problems. It's changed a lot since I started. But the fish are there. They're there in good numbers. When I first started fishing, it was a big, huge deal to catch an oversize. One in a week of solid fishing, back 10 years ago. Last year, I caught 12 one day. So the fish, I'm not denying that there's some changes in the population that's going down. But there's still a lot more fish than people think. They don't live at Bonneville anymore because they get eaten. They get chased. They don't spawn there anymore because they get eaten or chased. So we're having problems. We know that. Can't do anything about the sea lions. I've heard it falls on deaf ears. But last year, for the 54 day season, five fish annual limit, how can you take that away from me completely. That's 60% of my annual income. I was on the phone, like I said, for two weeks to talk to all 50 boatloads of clients because they're all booked for this year. Two committed to catch and release. So I know you guys have been talking amongst yourselves and well, they can just go to catch and release fishing. That'll save them. Two trips out of 50. I, I can't make a living that way. So I'm not suggesting that I kill the last fish. I don't want to. I want there to be sturgeon for my you know, future generations. But what I'm asking for is use some biology, use some science, like you got people paid to do, and make the right decision, and you slow it down. We already showed, I was in a meeting in August, they showed a large, took a 20% increase in keepers into our range this year. That's success. And God, there's people back here, we can show you the charts. They showed them to me, people in this room, the biologists. So you don't just take the fishery and say, it's gone because of politics and because of guilt, or, you know, whatever we are feeling here, because of this whole process that we're in, it, it just, it can't be done. I cannot make a living. And now they say our spring Chinook run is down 40%. So, out of uh, last year, that'll be 75 days of fishing. I'm gonna have 15. So, uh, I, I was begging you guys to please look at this very, very, very hard before you make your decision. Because I know Washington's pushing super hard for it. I know the governor's pushing hard because there's give and take, and I understand how that whole political mess works. But you're not only put me out of business, eight, 16 years, it took me to build this. I'll be done. And it's a business where I have more clients. I, I can fish 100 days for sturgeon. I have six people a day. I, I I, of course I can't, but you can't take that 100% away from me. It doesn't make any sense at all scientifically, biologically. No, it's just a little pawn in this whole game we're playing right here that has to stop. That's all. Any questions? Thank you both very much. It was nice of you to give me moral support. Thank you. <laughs> um, Jim Mickle, Darren Crookshank, and Bob Reese.